We will uh, grace ourselves with this essay. I'll read it out. And then after we have, you know, done our prayer by reading this essay, we will then fight the gym. It's on Discord now. All right. Let's go over and read this. Holy shit. Okay. I got to get my glasses on for this. This is an important manifesto, like a court document. <clears throat> Presenting to the court today. Just so you know, judge, there's some explicitives. <clears throat> Quote, I can't fucking believe this. Pink from Among Us ruined my marriage. A couple months ago, my wife said she was gonna go out for a ladies night, you know. Just go out with a couple friends, have a couple drinks, just, you know, fun night, right? So she asked me to take care of our son. So of course, being the good father I am, I immediately obliged. Yes, ma'am. I told her. After a while of waiting, she finally left and I could play my favorite game, Among Us. Among Us Poggers, wow, sus. I hopped on my laptop, booted it up and my desktop loaded, complete with the red sus background and all my Among Us imposter fan art. Oh, I was positively shaking with excitement. The waves and waves of euphoria just racked through my body. I slowly dragged my finger across the trackpad and watched the cursor as it glided across the Among Us icon. Among Us. Oh, my absolute favorite game of all time and quite possibly the best and most well-made game in the entire world. A cultural icon, truly a defining moment of our species. As I clicked the button, my body twitched with joy at the thought of being the imposter again. Oh, it's murder! Whew. My fingers drummed impatiently on the desk as the inner sloth logo faded in and, and then out. Then, the main title appeared. I immediately looked at the pink, that pink, as she flo slowly floated across the screen. Oh, how I wish I could feel those luscious, soft ass cheeks. Oh, pink is my queen, the real woman in my life. My wife could never be as sexy as pink is. Her soft footfalls and electrical as I peek at her curvy form from inside a vent, while just waiting for the white right time to strike. Oh, I could never get close to pink. However, as if she had some kind of sixth sense, she would always leave before I could reveal myself to her as the imposter. I pressed practice to warm up my fingers before my first intense game of Among Us. I hit blue and comms, then, Across the hall, vent to specimen, murdering green and cold blood. The thrill of killing an animated character in an online game has never been such a rush. I then moved towards reactor, stabbing yellow in the back, and then running down the corridor to across de decontamination. I moved quietly through the halls, like a snake, about to strike at its prey. And I see, oh no, it's pink, standing there motionlessly as I face her directly. Her visor shows no emotion, no love, no warmth like I know she used to. But she knows. I can feel it in the air. It's cold. I'm shaking. There's a pit in my stomach for me and I can't believe I've done this. I can't, I, I can't kill her. She's too beautiful. Angelic. The light reflecting off of her pink bodysuit. It's like stars on a voided sky. She doesn't run. I move to tears as I caress the screen. Kissing it tenderly. Goodbye, Pink. See you soon. It'll all be okay. I whisper in a soft, reassuring voice. Then, as my cursor hovers over the kill button, I hesitate. I wonder to myself, is this what Stalin felt like? To just be able to hover over the said nuke button at any time? To just end the lives of millions and millions at once? Lots of love go through my head. Red having reddish pink sus children with pink. But I have to. As the imposter, I'm duty bound to kill. <laughs> I press the button and I watch as my character beheads pink silently. All I hear is the spurt of blood. <laughs> there is no rush. No adrenaline, no excitement, no love. There is only red standing by himself in fuel. Pink's lifeless body laying on the floor beside him. I feel nothing at first. That immense, ground-shaking, earth-shattering sadness. My reality is being destroyed around me. It's like I'm at a loved one's funeral. My son knocks on the door, interrupting my brief moment of mourning. Dad, are you going to make me a snack? Shut up, Billy! And my voice cracks. I break down sobbing. <laughs> I killed her. I killed her. 
of my one true love. <laughs> I open the door to my son. And he has a confused look on his face. I say nothing. And I walk down to the kitchen to make him a salami sandwich. Tears roll off my face into the bread as I lay onto the counter. In the back of my mind, I hope that my tears will add a nice, sweet, salty flavor for my son. Lettuce, cheese, and meat, followed by a sad swirl of mustard on top. My son is quiet. He sits on the couch and stares at the floor. There is a depressing air around us. I serve him the sandwich and walk back to my room, contemplating my life. I killed Pink. <sighs> oh god. How can I be trusted around my family? I cry for hours. Finally, my wife comes back. She sees me bawling on the bed like a child who dropped his ice cream. She asks me why I'm crying and I mutter, I killed her. I killed her. I killed her. I killed my only love, Pink. And she asks, Pink, who is, who is Pink? And I look at her, tears streaming down my cheeks, snot bubbles coming out of my nose. I'm gagging on my spit from Among Us. <laughs> Immediately, rage fills her form. I can see her muscles expand with the power of her anger. And she slaps me across the face. I don't even feel it. She really thinks physical pain could ever match up to this emotional turmoil. Immediately, she asks for a divorce. I don't even reply. Instead, I take my laptop and get into my car, drive into a nearby hotel. Fast forward a few months to the divorce. It was quick, painless even. After court, I asked my former wife to take me back. I can't take you from the back, she says. And she continues, you've always been this way. You were sus from the start. There's the Broadway production of Among Us Pink. Pretty banger play, not gonna lie. The director told me to improv a little bit, you know, so I tried a little, just a little bit, a little bit of improv. You know what it is, easy clap, easy clap.